guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I really love this look because it is a dark smoky eye, but it does have its hints of color. It's not like a typical brown smoky eye. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more bold for me because I like more brown type of shades, but I really love how this turned out. This video is sponsored by NARS, which I'm really excited about because I love this brand. So I created this eyeshadow look using their new Narcissist eyeshadow palettes and I mainly used the more sultry shades in this palette. This is definitely my favorite color in the palette. It's like a greenish blue, really pretty. I use this blue right here, this dark shade, and then the more lighter shades as well. I used a few shadows and I really, really like this palette. What I love the most is that they're more wearable shades or the shades that you would normally use more often are bigger in this palette and I really appreciate that. Plus it has a really beautiful mirrored packaging and I'm just really impressed with the quality. I really, really love it. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I have already primed my eyelids and now I'm going into the NARS Narcissist palette. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow right here called Cream Bisque and I'm just gonna set my primer down with this eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go into this one right here and it's called Cafe Olay and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade and I'm just buffing this into my crease so that all the others can blend nice and smoothly. Now I'm going to take this crayon stick from the LOC brand that Tati created and it's just a nice charcoal color. I'm blending that out with my finger and now I'm going to take Cafe Ole one more time and just buff out those harsh edges. Going back into the palette, I'm going to take this color right here. It's my favorite color in the palette and it is called Industrial Steel. It's a really pretty blue green teal shade so stunning and I'm just packing this on my entire lid taking it all the way up to the crease. Now I'm going to take this one, it's called Black Truffle and I'm just going to deepen out my crease with this. So I'm just packing this into my crease with a blending brush from LA Colors and now I'm going to go back into Cafe Ole and make sure that everything is nice and blended. There's a lot of blending with this look but it is really really easy. So I'm going back into black truffle and I'm gonna deepen out my outer corners just a little bit. I don't want anything too intense or too black in the outer corners but something that gives a little bit of depth. I just took a makeup wipe and just wiped out all the fallout and I forgot to show a clip of it but I used the elf glitter primer right in the center of my lid and then I took um, the Makeup Geek Sparkler in the shade Zodiac and I applied this right in the center. I don't want to apply too much because I don't want to take away from the blue, but just a little pop of something. Then I just went in with some black liquid liner and I created a very thin wing. This is the Physician's Formula Black Eyeliner. And then I just highlighted my brow bone with this yellow matte shade in the Morphe Contour Palette. So I'm quickly going to move on to my face before I finish up my eyes. And I'm just priming my face with the Pixi Flawless Primer. And then I'm mixing two foundations together. I'm mixing my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum with my EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. And I'm just buffing that in with my Artiste Brush. And you guys have seen me put on my foundation about a million times, so I'm just speeding through this. So for concealer, I'm using my H&M Beauty Cover Up Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I like something a little bit less yellow, but I really like the consistency, so I use it underneath my eyes. And then I just buffed it in, and I set that with my NYC Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, now, let's finish up the eyes. This is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner in the shade Royal, and I just buffed that out with a uh, pencil brush. And then I took this amazing blue in the palette. It's called Regal Blue. I love this shade. And I just added it right on top of the uh, purple eyeliner just to make it a little bit more blue. Going back in with Cafe Ole, I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended. So for my inner corners, I'm taking Shimmering Pink Sand. It is the most beautiful highlighty shade and I popped that in my inner corners. And then I applied some falsies from Kiko. So to finish up my face, I'm going back into this Morphe 9C contour palette and I'm just taking that color that I pointed at and I'm just contouring my face. Once I've done that, I'm going to apply my blush. This is from L'Oreal and it's called Apricot Kiss and I really love this blush. I wanted something really natural as usual. I decided to go ahead and take Shimmering Pink Sand in the palette and I decided to use that as my highlight because it just looked so pretty in my inner corners that I wanted it all to match and I really love how it looks as a highlight. And then to just finish off this look, I'm taking the H&M Beauty Lip Liner in the shade 
Au Natural and I'm just applying this on my entire lips and this is what I'm using as my lip color. So that completes this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the new Narcissist palette. I really, really like it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.